Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> um, welcome to my top 10 or whatever, our top 8 uh, PS3 games list. Uh, why top 8 is because <clears throat> there are a lot of PS3 games that I have, uh, I have not played or even own, so I can't make uh, like a top 10 list or anything like that. So this is just a random uh, top 8 uh, PS3 games that I have played on my own so far and I'm gonna talk about my favorite uh, top 8 uh, PS3 games so let's, uh, let's start shall we? Number 8 is Infamous. Now Infamous isn't a really old game but it's not that old. It's uh, such a fun game. Uh, this game is really fun uh, because you can actually play as either Evil Call and uh, and uh, Good Call. I love playing as Good Call because uh, when I play Good Call, I actually feel like I'm an actually a hero. I save lives. I fight bad guys and so much stuff. I'm checking if my PS3 disc, <laughs> if my infamous disc is not out. But still, but the reason this is in top eight is because. The game is not perfect. Also, I haven't I haven't gotten a chance to play the sequel. I only played the demo of the sequel, but I bet the sequel is a lot better than the the first game. But this game is not perfect uh, because it has uh, glitches, uh, so many glitches. Uh, like for example, when I try to do uh, jump in the air, do the electric slam or shockwave around the enemies when I land on the ground. And every time I land on the ground at times, especially one, one of the places where you go with the rail station, you fall down and go through the world and basically die. So, yeah, it has glitches, so don't get surprised because this game was developed in... Seriously, I don't really remember where... where when this game came out. <laughs> Sorry I didn't do a lot of research but uh, ju it's just a quick video and uh, this is just a random list. So anyways, infamous. Uh, is it worth is it worth the game? Actually the game is really cheap. If you guys still own the PS3, I highly recommend playing the original infamous. I remember when PlayStation Plus uh, was first time announced or whatever. And this game first time was announced, this game was Free. The full game was free, and you can actually play the game, do the entire game for free. And you will got the game for free. Good for you. But I only bought it for like 10 euros, so yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, next up is Red Dead Redemption. Now this game, oh boy, <laughs> where do I even begin? Rockstar Games, you did it again. You made an, an awesome, an awesome uh, free room game. Red Dead Redemption is. I got the game of the year edition because I was also try out the zombie mode or the uh, what, what's it called? Uh, uh, Under Nightmare, yeah. And the game is really awesome. It's basically set in Western time. You're playing. And, and when you play the game, you actually feel like you're in Western times. You feel like a cowboy, you feel like a sheriff, you feel like a hero. You can choose wherever you go. Not so go hero, but also there's actually, just like the Infamous series, uh, it, ha it does have like a reputation meter. Like, if you do things uh, like a sheriff, like a good guy, you get more honor from villagers and stuff. Or uh, like capture live more than dead. Alive or dead uh, criminals, but if you capture the, those criminals alive, you get more money and also more respect. If you kill him, then you get like I don't know less respect, and uh, people will get le less respect or honor for you. But still, I haven't finished this game because what I, what I don't like about Rockstar games, what, what I do like, but I don't like, and you know what it's like in the middle is that. These games take forever to beat. I haven't even been the Draft of Auto San Andreas or GTA Vice City because those games are super long. The only Rockstar game, the only two Rockstar games I actually beat 
are Bully and or, or Bully on the PS2 and uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Those are the only two Rockstar games I only beat. But I heard this game is really good, and I try to m my best to avoid spoilers as much as possible for this game in particular because uh, this game is an interesting story and I highly recommend to play this game if you guys are big western fans. I don't know if there are western movies that are good, if there are then just tell me tell me in the comments. And I put this in number 7 because it also has glitches but they are minor unlike the infamous series but there was actually but the glitches are really funny. There was actually a really funny glitch uh, that I encountered uh, in the tour of the game, uh, oh, too bad I didn't fucking uh, record the game because uh, I don't have a recording device to record PS3 games, so apologies for that. But there was a funny moment in the game that I called for the horse when I did the, the main mission of the game, and I called the horse, the horse was up on the cliff, then he just just randomly flies down <laughs> right on my back and then just like I'm like what the fuck happened and they just the, the, the horse lands on water the water is not even big and the, the horse dies <laughs> yeah the horse dies in in the water <laughs> and I have to call a new horse and I, I was la laughing so hard during during this game but still, I highly recommend, if you guys are big Rockstar fans or big Western fans, I highly recommend to play this game, try it out for yourselves. Unfortunately, the game is only for PS3 and uh, Xbox 360. Uh, there is no PC version and there are no EG, so-called HD remasters for, you know, PS4 and Xbox One. But you know what, screw next generation consoles, I'm happy with my current console. Next up, number 6, Ratchet and Clank, Tracking Time. Now, I'm a huge, I'm a big Ratchet and Clank fan. The very first Ratchet and Clank game I played was Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. And it's, it, it is still one of my favorite games. I actually played Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal on PS3, the HD collection. Now, there are minor glitches for these HD collections, but they are minor, but the game still plays fine. If you guys can p get past all these minor glitches for Ratchet and Clank HD collection, then yeah, I highly recommend play these games. But anyways, yeah, Ratchet Clank Crack Type. It's one of my second favorite Ratchet Clank ga games from the entire series. This game is just massive. It's one of the best Ratchet Clank games I have ever played on PS3. Um, I had I had so many tries to buy a new version of Ratchet Clank. Uh, I bought one Ratchet Clank Tools of Destruction. I bought, but the, unfortunately that game didn't work uh, because I got jipped so he had to got, got a refund and get, bought a new Tools of Destruction game through eBay. But anyways, uh, Crack and Die is an amazing game. It's a really heavy uh, story driven game. It's really heavy. It has massive feels. It also has time traveling moments. And I don't really want this you know, cover as a poster. That will be f freaking awesome. Uh, but still, this game is really awesome. The game is really fun. It has a lot of cool weapons. Uh, many, many plants to discover. You can go even on mini plants. You can actually free room with your spaceship. And you can do so much in this game. And I, that is one thing I really miss uh, for Ratchet and Clank. Because this game feels like a next generation Ratchet and Clank game. I never played like Quest for Booty or Into the Nexus. But I might even get those games later. Uh, when I get, go to college or something, but this game is uh, one big recommendation. But before you play Kraken Time, I highly recommend to play the Tools of Destruction and Quest for Booty, uh, if, you, if you guys don't want to understand the story better. But anyways, uh, this game is just awesome. Next up, number five. Yeah, number five. <laughs> Batman Arkham City. Yes, I know this game is for PC, so shut up. Um, the reason I bought this for PS3 is because I couldn't play the game from on my laptop because my laptop is not very strong and I need a bit stronger co computer to play Arkham City. But at least I can I can play. I have a console that actually has the same game, and 
Arkham City, it's one of my favorite Batman or superhero games I have actually played. I actually beaten in this game and there is still so much to do. Unfortunately, I have to do the serial killer or face stealer uh, side mission uh, using the internet because I couldn't understand how to beat it. But Arkham City, it's seriously, it's a massive game. Play Arkham Asylum b before playing Arkham City to understand the story better. But this game, oh my god, this game is full of surprises, especially when it comes to uh, main story. The game just blows your mind and this game is the only Batman game that, probably the only Batman game that has the best bosses and Mr. Freeze boss, Jesus Christ, that boss was just insane. I was really scared because Mr. Freeze is one of those bosses that is one of the, one of the most cleverest bosses ever. If you got, if you beat the beat beat this, beat this guy in one in one tactic, you can use the same tactic twice. You need to find a different approach uh, against Mr. Freeze. Otherwise, you will fail. You will not be able to defeat Mr. Freeze in the same tactic twice. That's what I like about games like this. You need to make bosses challenging as possible because. Bosses are, as bosses is not good. Uh, I haven't played this game for like six months. I just started playing this game again, and I really suck at this game, especially when it comes to combat. But this game is really hard, and especially probably when you play the game on New Game Plus. I I will not get play New Game Plus until I master this game properly. But yeah. Batman Arkham City, get it. <laughs> Next up is Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Yay! Yes, the game, the, all these games, uh, especially Metal Gear Solid 3 and 2 are on PS2, and Beast Walker is on, you know, on PSP. But I got the HD Collection because I never played the original Metal Gear Solid games. The very first game uh, I played, this is on top 4, by the way. Or sh I should have put it on top 3, whatever. But it, the first Metal Gear Solid game I played was Guns of the Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Yeah, this game is one of the first Metal Gear Solid games I ever played, but I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to play other Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, I tried to find out what's so great about these games, and I found out why they're really fun and enjoyable to play, and the stories in these games are real story driven games. Uh, Hideo Kojima really outdid himself with, uh, you know, with these games. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, it's there, isn't it? <laughs> I keep uh, forgetting. Uh, it's one of my favorite Metal Gear Solid games. I I can't believe I never played Metal Gear Solid, Solid 3 Snake Eater on PS2. I could I would have really enjoyed it, but at least I, I really want to fake Kojima and... No, I'm not gonna fake Konami because screw them. But I really don't want to thank Kojima uh, for making these games. I, the Metal Gear Solid 3 is the only old school Metal Gear Solid game I've beaten. Metal Gear Solid 4 is also the game I've beaten. Um, but I haven't beaten Metal Gear Solid 2, the original Metal Gear Solid that I just got from PCN and Peace Walker. Peace Walker, because uh, the classic 1999 Metal Gear Solid game is you know from the ps1 it's really challenging i because i really got used to third person camera perspective i i can't get used to you know the top thing because the uh, you know the character is on the, on the bottom and it feels like you're playing chess with a gaming character but so i highly recommend to get this hd collection uh, i like i said i there are many many PS3, PS2 games I haven't played, especially the exclusives. Metal Gear Solid is one of those games, and I'm glad I've finally gotten the hold of uh, Metal Gear Solid games. And number three, Metal Gear Solid 4, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. <laughs> Another Metal Gear Solid game, but this is an exclusive for PS3. And this game is one of the funnest games I have played. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really think, I, I, I am really thinking to play this game again on hard difficulty. I'm doing f doing it for Snake Eater, and Snake Eater is one of my favorites because it's more fun than Gods of the Patriots, but Christ, Gods of the Patriots, it's one of my first Metal Gear Solid games I have played, 
and the only time I discovered Metal Gear Solid franchise was when I saw the trailer for Metal Gear Solid 4, saw the Egan review for uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, man that's a mouthful, but still, this game is just full of feels, um, this game is basically Solid Snake's last mission, and you, you, you need to find, and if you guys really want to understand the story, Christ, <laughs> my throat, it hurts. <laughs> if you guys really want to understand Metal Gear Solid 4 story, I, I really, really, really recommend playing Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, otherwise you will not understand this game's story at all. And this game is really famous for the longest cutscenes in the entire, the entire fucking planet. But still, Metal Gear Solid 4, I highly recommend getting it. I know there's uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, and Final Pain, but a lot of people don't like these games. But I am thinking to get Ground Zeroes at one point to, tr to test out why do people don't like uh, the original, you know, these new Metal Gear Solid games, but... You know what, I'm gonna buy Grand Zeroes if I have time and I will try to test it out. But still, Metal Gear Solid games are really awesome and let's get, get, get a move on because I'm talking too much. Um, next up, number two! My personal favorite, one of my favorite Naughty Dog games, Uncharted 2! Among Thieves. Yeah, Among Thieves. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm never gonna go to the titles. I wish I had, had a better box or cover or whatever for Uncharted 3 because that platinum cover looks, that platinum box looks ugly as hell. Christ. <laughs> God damn it. But still, um, I don't know, you can change the box out, I don't know. But still, Uncharted 2, I, the first Uncharted game I played was Uncharted, uh, the first Uncharted game, Drake's Fortune, I think it was called. And that game is was okay, but unfortunately I didn't like it as much as I liked Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 had the best graphics, had the best gameplay, had the best story, had the best villain. The game is just huge. I tried to avoid as much spoilers for this specific game because um, for some reason I get bored watching Uncharted playthroughs. The only time I get, get enjoyment from games is when I play them myself. And when I played Uncharted 2 for myself, this game just blew my mind. This is one of those games I really highly recommend if you guys are big PlayStation fans, big Naughty Dog fans or whatever. I really recommend playing this game for yourselves to fully enjoy the experience. This game is huge. This game is just wow. And this game is... And knowing Naughty Dog, this game is challenging because... Damn Naughty Dog, you and your stupid challenges. Oh boy. They're real famous for challenge making difficult games. I'm looking at you, Crash Bandicoot 1 and Jack 2. Yeah, those games are difficult. Don't don't believe me? Try beating a Crash Bandicoot 1 on hard on 100%. If you guys beat Crash Bandicoot 1 on hardest on with 100% completion, then you got you sir are a legend because nothing else I have to say. So, what else to do? Yeah. And number one, obvious one, The Last of Us. <laughs> oh boy, The Last of Us. Oh my god, I looked for this game for like eternity. I searched for this game for like everywhere. In my country, they didn't sell Last of Us for PS3 for some reason. They sell it only for PS4, you know, the remastered one. But what's the point of buying a PS4 and a remaster? You know, if you, if you only own Last of Us for PS3 and the game plays fine as it is. But Last of Us, oh my god. The first 10 minutes feels... <laughs> god damn it. The major feels. This game is very famous for breaking people's hearts. And this game takes strategy. It's basically like Metal Gear Solid, just zombie edition. But still, uh, this is a zombie game, duh, but it's not one of those typical zombie games, it, it takes a zombie, you know, perspective, you know, the infection thing, 
more realistically and the story is really interesting basically I talked about this game review or whatever but I talk about this game basically the game is about main character Joel who what uh, man I can't talk about this game without mentioning spoilers but this game is highly recommended and it has a fun multiplayer for some reason I can't play with the multiplayer and uh, the multiplayer is for me for some reason is stuck on the loop it's stuck on the same loading screen for like many hours I know I'll just put it on and put on multiplayer and leave it as it is because uh, if it doesn't work then I don't know something is wrong either with my copy of the game or or the servers have been shut down for the last of us because that will be sucky because I think PlayStation or Sony will lose a lot of money if they, they continue the same route as Microsoft for charging you money for to play online because the only reason PS3 sell, sold well is because you can play games for free and without paying anything and they made such all the amazing exclusives now PS4 is just like hey you know what remaster 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 but still last of us is one of the most highly recommended games ever a lot of people say it's uh, overrated but basically the last of us is like for Sony it's like the last of us is like the halo for Sony I think it's a chart that counts halo as for Sony but still um this game is has made feels, it has strategy to take down enemies, stealth is highly recommended and in this game in this game <laughs> this game is really hard. I'm not gonna like this game is really hard. They have quite colors! But still, highly recommended. So that was my top eight la PS3 games. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's really hard to talk. Ah, uh, I need to drink. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone to the store but but another can of coke. But still Hope you enjoyed this uh, <coughs> top 8 uh, review uh, or top 8 list for my favorite PC. My personal favorite is just a random list. So if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and don't forget to share this video on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe if you guys are through gamers and I will see you all later or whatever. Bye!